the 21st Sunday after Pentecost, year B, from the Gospel according to Mark. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. In the name of that same Son of Man, even Jesus Christ, who with the Father and the Spirit lives and reigns forever and forever. Amen. We ought to feel a kind of shock when we hear that the Son of Man came to give his life, a ransom for many. Our readings for this week understand that gift as a matter of Jesus' whole life, and indeed, as a matter of the whole of creation. The story of Job is an extended parable reflecting on the suffering of the righteous. Today's selection responds to Job's demand for a justification with imagery suggesting that an accounting for our powerlessness has been woven into the fabric of creation ever since the laying of the foundations of the earth. To question the suffering of humanity is to question the wisdom of creating this changeable universe at all. How might we understand Jesus' suffering as worthy of the praise that the psalmist lavishes on the goodness and desirability of creation? The letter to the Hebrews suggests an answer, claiming that Jesus learned obedience through what he suffered, and having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. Now this word perfect doesn't just mean faultless, it means complete. Somehow God was not complete without having learned obedience, which is kind of hard when you're all powerful. And God could not learn obedience without passing through the trial of suffering. It's that obedience that ransoms us, buys back our freedom. When we feel ourselves called to obedience, let us therefore ask ourselves what is now or once was holding us captive. And how might our obedience allow us to escape not the threat, but the captivity to fear of that threat? How might the willingness to endure suffering set us free, to realize our otherwise dormant gifts, and to make otherwise impossibly courageous choices? Jesus' life, death, and resurrection sets before us the promise that such service through suffering perfects us, raising us into the fullness God seeks for each of us in all our diversity of being and shaped us through all our diversity of experience. In the name of that same God, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.